Assalamualaikum and welcome again to my YouTube channel ladies and germs. Today I have a build video for you. I'm gonna apologize in advance because I may or may not have uh, missed any steps but I'm pretty sure that I have not missed any steps. So I'm gonna walk you through the video with my voice over. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right to it. Now for the motherboard, I chose the Gigabyte F2A85XMD3H. Um, it has 3 years warranty, triple monitor support, dual UEFI, and it's Windows 8 ready. And you can see AMD chipset right over there, and it's ultra durable. Um, I am using an AMD chip, obviously, it's an FM2 socket. This is the processor, the AMD A8-5600K. It performs well for its price, that's why I chose it. The RAM that I'm using is the G-Skill 1600MHz. Uh, it's XMP ready, so don't worry. It's also 8 gigs, and the storage that I only have is a 60 gig Kingston SSD. The Cooler Master Sidon 120M is my choice for cooler because for its price, it performs pretty well for an entry-level cooler. Now to install the AMD A8-5600K, you need to look out for the gold triangle and the gold mark on, sorry, triangle mark on the socket and you just drop it in gently. You don't have to put any force on it. Pull the lever down. And there you have it. You have already installed your processor. And for custom coolers, you will always have a back plate. So you need to put the back plate, well, obviously behind your motherboard. Um, I'll ins show it. Um, I'll just show it to you later, I guess. Here's a water block. You need to ensure that both ends are clean and the top of your processor is also clean because you're going to have to put thermal paste. There are many methods of uh, putting thermal paste. I find it best a solution for me to put some kind of a like, like a grain of rice because that works well enough for me. Now to put the I.O. backplate. This one is an easy job. You just have to align it properly first and then just push on it really hard or just hard enough until you hear a snap. Now to install a motherboard, you need to install standoffs in your case as well. And in, th in this case, my standoffs are, are already um, installed, so I have no problem installing that motherboard inside there. Just need to align it first. You need to also align the I.O. back plates. So it's an easy job and when you get the hang of it. But at first, maybe you're going to have to struggle a bit. There you go. Now I've already installed the CPU cooler, forgive me for that. Um, just going to skip right through the RAM and you see the notch there. This is a DDR3 8, uh, 4 gigs. I have two 4 gigs. So just push the RAM until you hear a click or a snap on both sides of your motherboard. Motherboard RAM slot, I mean. Here's another one. You're gonna have to check your um, motherboard manual to see which slot to populate first because if you don't, uh, maybe it will not uh, perform as what you want it to be. It's a bit hard, this one. There you go. So 
So I have already done installing the components inside my case. Um, I've already skipped the cabling part because I didn't want the make the to make the video any longer than it already is. Um, as you can see, this case does not support um, the cable routing at the back, but I did force cables to the back to make it uh, much more nicer and let airflow flow better. Uh, don't worry because cables are already durable by themselves. So you don't have to worry damaging the cables unless you take a knife or scissor or something. Okay, so that is it for the build video. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope I didn't miss anything in the build. Um, if I did, please uh, comment on the comment section below later. I'm actually selling this uh, PC. So if you are from Laoyat or from Malaysia, um, if you want to check it out, you can um, get on, on the link in the description below. So yeah, uh, as always, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it, and comment on the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will still have more videos coming. And as always, air of the geeks. No, 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 no.